Anakantavad was uh, talking a little bit today about uh, the relativity of absolute truth and I wanted to explore that a bit more from the angle of uh, society and its place in it. Um, I don't think that any society can function without absolute truth as a, a notion, um, an unspoken notion or a principle that it holds, uh, and that it's the, the strength of that type of truth is contingent upon the preponderance of the belief in it. Um, as an example, picture, I picture a man uh, who has discovered absolute truth up on this mountaintop. He points to it and he says, uh, there is absolute truth. It, it lies up there. And he's looking at it and this someone else comes along and asks him about it and he says well, what's up there and he says well that's absolute truth and I suppose it seems like a good idea it's up on the mountain top inaccessible uh, majestic so another man comes along and the um, number gradually builds eventually you have this community at the base of a mountain living in veneration of whatever is up there, that absolute truth. And um, that's sort of the, the way I, I picture it. Um, now, so to say that it exists really doesn't mean anything coming from uh, one man, let, let's say, I mean, I say it uh, as a philosopher, okay? I say absolute truth exists, but I'm saying it alone um, to be a, as a metaphor, I'm, I'm talking alone in, in the forest, or t <laughs> no one is going to hear me. Um, so that in the same way, society, I think, it requires someone else to say an agreement. Uh, it requires someone else to say yes it does exist and so on and so on so you have this uh, ground layer from which a society can function or uh, in a, anything can spring out of it um, ideologically or otherwise uh, and whether or not that it, uh, whether or not we can classify that as a good thing or not is relative to whatever the belief is, the strength of it. Um, I think on the surface there are there seems to be differences. Of course, people have differences with the direction their society is going in, the beliefs of it, but we don't have this mass migration of people that disagree with the society that they live in to some other country um, and if we do I mean for though for that specific reason it's an extremely low number people are going to emigrate for other reasons um, so I think that part of uh, mass psychology if we can call it that, is that this belief in absolute truth, that the society is good, in fact that it is the best of all possible societies, one could say, from the perspective of the person living in it, is held unconsciously or very consciously, depending on the person. So I just wanted to um, give my perspective on what Anikantavad was uh, talking about. Thank you.